Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing six of my outfits that I would be wearing if there wasn't a pandemic in the world. Because recently I've just been wearing comfy, well not that this isn't comfy, but you know what I mean, like leggings, cycling shorts, baggy t-shirts, that sort of thing. Um, but I probably will be wearing these sorts of outfits next year if the world goes back to normal hopefully and hopefully get to go away on holiday. How many times can I say hopefully in this video? Don't know. But anyway, this is my first outfit. This top is from Brand Melville. I really like it because it's like, it's not like thick as in like hot, sweaty kind of thick. It's like thick as in good quality, that's the word I'm looking for. Good quality, love it. I like the frills on the bottom and yeah, I really like it. And this is from, this skirt is from Motel Rocks and it's got a little slit on the side. And I just feel like the way it like sits around the waist and like falls nice, like it doesn't like stick out or anything. And yeah, I just really like this skirt. I think it's pretty. Um, and I got this on sale, so I'm not sure if we'll still be doing it, but we do love to skirts like this. So if you like it, then check out Motel Rock. Um, and I'm just wearing it with some white socks that I actually got in the kids section. And the kids section that next. And I'm wearing it with my white night trainers. Like it looks cold outside, windy, it's been raining, but in my room, it's warm. So yeah, first outfit. So this is my fifth outfit. I am absolutely obsessed with this. It is a play suit and it is all strappy on the back, like this. And it looks a bit like a dress, which I also love. Because I'm not really keen on wearing a lot of dresses. I am more of a play suit kind of person because I just feel a bit more safe in a play suit. Like, it's connected in the middle, I feel like nothing's on show, and it's just, it's so soft. Like, honestly, it's so, so soft. This is gorgeous. It's a little bit more on the expensive side because I did get it from Urban Outfitters. And I can't quite remember how much it was. It was either like 40 or 60 quid, something like that. I think they do still do it. And I recently did see that they have a purple version, which is similar to this, but it goes like straight across instead of the bait, which I do still love. I think it was a bit more like tight and like it didn't have like the seams that go down here. Obviously, don't wear a bra with this um, because of the back. And yeah, it's amazing. One of my faves. And I will definitely be taking this abroad when I next get to go. So this is my third outfit. I got this from H&M recently. Um, I'm loving this stripe down the side. I think that's really cool. And yeah, they'll still have it definitely in stock. It was only twelve ninety nine, so that's great. Bargain. And I think it's very bigger hugging, very nice, good material. Um, and it's got length as well. You can't really see. No, you can't see. But um, I'm just wearing it with white trainers again, and. It's that kind of length where it, on me, I'm five foot, five and a half, um, it hits mid thigh. Um, and that's really good for me because when I walk, I don't know why, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, a lot of dresses, they ride up. So at this length, if it rides, my whole arse isn't going to be out. So that's great. Love it. So this is my fourth outfit. I got this from Princess Polly. Absolutely love him. It's so soft, the material's gorgeous. It's very stretchy, clings to my skin. Love that. I have a bit in a size extra small. Normally I'd get things in a small because it's super stretchy. And because I didn't want it to be like loose and baggy on my arms, I wanted it to be tight fitting, I got an extra small. These are super old. I got them from um, Forever 21 when I was like 13 or 14 and I'm 21 now, so very old, but they've lasted a very long time and they're still white. I mean, they're not crisp white, but still white, um, so that's good. And yeah, they fit really well. They're actually kind of loose, which I don't understand because when I was 14, I don't remember them being super baggy, but I mean, yeah, and I should have, obviously, I've, I mean, I've gained a bit of weight since I was 14, but I have always been quite a slim person. Um, well yeah, absolutely love this, love this top, can't wait to wear it out because it's new, I only just recently got it, and I think it's really pretty. Okay, so this is my second outfit, 
these are both from Van Millville. I got them at the start of the year before we went on lockdown. I got them from obviously the Van Millville store, but I was in Rome when I got them. But yeah, I love this colour of green. I think it's really nice. And they're not see-through. I mean, I won't do squats in them or anything like that because they probably would go see-through. But like just, you know, regular everyday shorts, they're not see-through. I love this top, I think it's really flattering just because of like the buttons down the front and like that it sits like kind of open. I just really I like love this top. I love this one more than the other one that I just wore. But obviously still love both of them, but I just think this one's more flattering. So this is my last outfit and um, I only got it recently. Same as I got it at the same time as I got the grey dress with the um, yellow panel down the side. So the both from H&M. Um, I feel a little bit like I look like I'm going on a safari or something in these, but they're really comfy, breezy, loose. They are a little bit like tight on the waist, but they're dead stretchy, like, see? So, I don't mind. I don't own anything like this. It has like a paper bag um, effect on top, but yeah, it's really nice. I love this shade of grey. I think dark grey, I, I just feel like dark grey is more flattering on me. I do like light grey as well, but I prefer this colour with these like beige colour shorts. Pockets do work, they aren't just for show. They're big pockets actually. So yeah, yeah so they are quite the longer shorts. But I don't always like having short shorts on, sometimes I fancy having a bit of a mid length short. So yeah, and I recently think it's hand, so if anywhere is streaky. I don't fake tan that very often. I am normally very pale, but I wanted to fake tan because the weather's been a bit rubbish here in England and it's supposed to be warm on the weekend. Yeah, it's supposed to be warm on the weekend, but today's rubbish and I just wanted to make myself feel nice. I'm putting a bit of fake tan on, so if it looks a bit rough, no. then yeah, that's why, because I'm not very good. But yes. <sighs> if I seem stressed or if I seem a bit talking fast or a bit, I don't know, it's because this is my first video. Why do I keep doing this? I'm stretching as a man. This is my first video back after two years of not uploading anything. Back then, I feel like I wasn't really mentally ready. I do feel obviously still a bit like panicky now and a bit nervous to film because I'm not used to it but I have grown since then and I just I really want to do this um so I'm just gonna push through and hopefully soon my confidence will come through and I won't be as nervous to film so yeah hopefully this is an okay video hopefully you enjoyed and yeah I'll hopefully see you in my next video and subscribe if you did like it. I don't know why I keep doing this with my arms, it's so annoying, stop it. Okay, see so ya. Yeah. Thank you for watching.